Hi, in this video we shall take a look at how to install Aruti. To install Aruti, you can download uh, the setup from uh, www.powersofsystem.com from our website. Once you are there, you just navigate to our solutions and then just click on Aruti HR payroll software. Once you click on this, you have the option to try it yourself. So here uh, you can just uh, put your details, okay. Uh, so please make sure to like fill the proper details, okay. Uh, and then uh, you just put your email address and then just hit on the, and put the company name. And if you have any website, please put the details also, okay. And then just click on download button. So this will start the download pro process. Okay. So you can see total size is 208 megabytes. Depending on your internet speed, this might take some time to download accordingly. Okay. So once uh, we download, the download is completed, we can begin the installation process accordingly. Okay. Okay, so we will hang on a bit and then uh, let this complete and then we'll begin the installation. So here we go. Setup is done. You just uh, try to locate this and then uh, begin the installation process. Mm -hmm. So to begin with, uh, we recommend you ra right click on the setup and choose run as administrator. So even though you are seeing a root server, it doesn't matter. You can just install this as standalone. So when you get that pop-up, just choose yes, and then just choose next. Agree to the terms, the license terms, and choose next, okay? So you see the option install like this. During installation, uh, you'll be presented with two options. But before that, please take note. Uh, Aruti make use of .NET okay, uh, .NET Framework uh, 3.5. Now, depending on your operating system resources, uh, you might not be, the system might require some few files like .NET Framework, okay? So you can see that here we are getting message that uh, uh, we don't have .NET Framework what available, okay? So uh, for this, make sure you are connected to the internet i'm using as a windows server to install this but if you are using your normal os uh windows you might uh, i mean to say you need to make sure you are connected to the internet when you are installing and then you do not have a uh, .NET 2.0 3.0 we need .NET 3.5 to get this installed so if you do not have this you make sure you are connected to the internet and it will download since I'm using a uh, uh, Windows uh, Server, I need to turn on turn on uh, sorry these features. Okay, I need to turn on these features. So I'll quickly turn them on. Uh, I'll quickly turn them on, and then continue with this installation. Uh, so for my installation, this is required. I need all these features to get it installed. Okay. I need this also feature to get it installed. Okay. So uh, I'll quickly get this installed. Okay. So same way, uh, if you are installing on uh, a normal Wind, like Windows 7, Windows 8, or Windows 10, you make sure you are connected onto the internet. In some operating system, Windows, uh, sorry, Net Framework 3.5 might download automatically, but in some other machines, you might need to turn off these features from your Windows programs. Let me just show, the, whilst this is installing, I can show that quickly easy from another machine like uh, you go to your control panel and then uh, we have one option like this is windows 8.1 uh, 
you can go to programs and features and then you choose turn windows features on or off so you can see you have to make sure these features are turned on windows 3.5 if your machine want to reinstall uh, sorry restart allow it to restart so uh, uh, then after that you just choose okay so i'll switch back to the window for which i'm doing this server installation you can see uh, this is done so i i will still begin uh, uh, we will not be able to install this successfully so what i'll do is uh, just to manually uh, how do you call it uh, stop this installation and then begin the process again okay uh, i'll just uh, quickly stop the installation we have a tax manager from here i'll just simply uh, end this process so we have a route here but i'll uninstall it and then install again because uh this has not properly get got uninstalled so if you ever face this just please uh do the proper installation and then uh, make sure that the features are turned on and then all will be good okay so we will begin the process again from here and then click next and then wait for the installation to be completed so please take note only net framework 3.5 is required so you just make sure to turn those features on or depending on your os you might be you might be required to connect to the internet and then uh, turn uh, sorry so that those features will get downloaded from microsoft uh, server since this system is, is sql based okay so now we'll wait to see uh, about the installation process getting done in some cases depending on the operating system also please take note that you may get a pop-up like um, maybe your setup is not compatible okay uh, sorry your os is not compatible with rot when you get that kind of message please do not uh, close it or turn it off agree or allow it to get installed by choosing yes or anything that will let the installation continue now you also get this option like uh, do you want to do installation with an existing msql or default for t uh, for big organizations that have an existing sql server you can put your instance uh, sorry the server name and then the instance will be a payroll this means you should have installed the aruti instance already with your preferred sql so this option allows you to uh, uh, install let's say sql 20 17 2016 20 2012 okay and then make the instance name a payroll by before if we re we also recommend this option if you are not having any existing msq or you don't have your own you want to go you can go with this for those who want to try the software evaluate you can go with this very few or big organizations who have their existing sq or would like to go with this whichever be the case you can go with this so for the purposes of this uh uh video we are going ahead with this and then of course you can always go ahead with this we also recommend this option but if you have some preference you can choose this so here we go we will go with default installation if you choose the default by default aruti comes with a uh, sql express 208 so this will let sql express 208 get installed okay on your machine and as i have already mentioned if you had uh, some options then you could have chosen different if you get this message of compatibility please just check mark don't show this message again and choose run the program without getting help if you close this aruti will still not get properly installed so once you choose that option please wait for all the files to get what properly installed you just wait for everything in the background to finish running 
then only you can close the windows. Please take note of this. So you wait on your screen till everything complete and then you will see this option, okay? You see that Arity is successfully installed. So once it is installed, oh, then you will see uh, both two files, Arity configuration and Arity. We will cover uh, how to use Arity in subsequent videos. Thank you for taking time to watch this video. In case you face any challenge during the installation, you can give us remote access based on your permission and then we can connect to your machine and then uh, get the installation done. So you can actually uh, contact us on any of our helplines above or you can simply uh, drop us a message using the contact form or you can send an email to support at powersofsystem.com. Thank you for taking time to watch this video.